Well, I had an email on Friday and I got very excited by it because it was an email from my local gun shop telling me that this had turned up. So I stopped what I was doing and went and picked this thing up. And all I can say is so far, it is blown my socks off if I was wearing any, but uh, yeah, I am very well impressed with this gun. It's doing everything that I expected it to do and all the hype so far is what you know, they've said about it and the future of air gunning and all that. But um, I'm very well impressed with it. I've uh, kitted it out with the Arca Rail uh, from PRS Accessories, or PRS Precision I believe, and the rear buttstock as well and the cheek riser. I had that fitted, well fitted myself sorry, um, and I went out yesterday just to shoot some groups, get used to the rifle and uh, get used for safety purposes and everything and get it zeroed. Um, I decided to shoot a variety of pellets, all JSBs, but in the uh, 30, well, 34 grain weights, the King Heavy Mark IIs and the Mark Ones and the 25 grain ones, um, just to see how they group and everything. And they all group, as the Yanks would say, under a dime and uh, 50 yards. I didn't put it out to 100 yet because I just want to get used to what, what it's all doing and acting. And um, I am impressed. I keep saying the same things all the time, but I'm a bit speechless with it, really. Um, it feels like a real gun. It's obviously modelled off the uh, AR-15 platform. Everyone's saying it's an FX copy. Well, yeah, I suppose it does look similar, but that's where the similarities end. This gun is totally programmable. Um, there's no Allen keys, no screws to turn, no valves to turn. It's, it's all done electronically, and I'll just show you briefly what you're supposed to do but safety catch off and that turns the gun to uh, on um, you would then make sure the bolt is back which it is press and hold the trigger till the safety yeah, the padlock comes off and then you can go into your settings it's great because it's fat finger proof which I like anything that's fat finger proof it goes into your advanced settings magazine shot count all that night mode backlight on but what I was going to show you is um, yeah, so factory shot settings. You can go into it, and there's your caliber. There's your uh, barrel length, 23 inch for FAC, 33.95 grain. That's what I was using, so I selected that, and then gives you your muzzle velocity um, of what you're um, you're using. And uh, let's try and steady this a bit more. You can go into it and up and down at a 700. That's way low, but there you go through and down and um, I've uh, messed about with this with the King Heavy Mark II's and found that it preferred uh, a muzzle velocity of about 890 which with the 2.5 that's probably more normal um, I did do the um, JSB 25 grains and day state for some reason want it at 1045 feet per second they tell you I knocked that right back down to 920 and that was grouping really good as well as I said, only 50 yards yesterday, but um, I do want to get used to this rifle and uh, then bring you a proper review. Uh, I've got it topped with a Element Helix, uh, sorry, Element Helix, Element uh, Titan, and that is one bloody good scope. Um, it's been a lot of hype about these scopes, and I can say that it uh, lives up to it. The glass quality is is better than my Frontier, and that you know I, that takes some beating. Um, in my eyes, this is, I've had a load of scopes, and for the money, I think the Frontier really did do very well. But this, yeah, this gets takes a biscuit with it. Um, I am impressed. A um, couple things that I didn't like um, out of the box the magazine had a little problem with the roll pin on the hinge, um, but it's with a bit of use, it's going to wear out, but it'll be fine just to just fit it into the magazine port, which is here um, and there's a little bit of play and you can't see that but everything's going to turn off now there's a little bit of play with the rear stock fit into the um the the, the, uh, the delta wolf i believe i spoke to gavin at prs on friday and he told me that it's because of the composite stock fit into the metal um it's nothing to do with prs's uh, side of things it's day stage problem and um, i think that could be improved um and maybe some closer tolerances or maybe some shims they could supply I don't know but it's it's a little bit on the wobbly side but otherwise it works great um, 
Yeah, and uh, I've run out of things to say really. Um, I'm going to do a proper review that get get onto slugs and stuff. I did fire slugs yesterday, but um, they they didn't group um, anything from Pro Hunter and a couple other makes as well. They just weren't grouping, and I'm going to um, obviously going to have to go into the advanced settings to change. Uh, the hammer dwell and all the other stuff that's going to go with it. I've got to get used to it first. Got to get it used to the rifle and all its settings and everything first before I start messing around and you know so I know what I'm doing. But otherwise, I'm very well impressed so far. So uh, looking for a review coming pretty soon.